Here are your two minutes of pro football history presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The first evidence of a game that resembles football was played in 1869. Modified rugby and soccer rules were implemented in the 1880s and the game's popularity began to grow. Athletic clubs sponsored the football teams as local entertainment that also included the common practice of wagering on the match's outcome. As competition grew heated, clubs began recruiting players by awarding them with prizes, such as watches or trophies that could easily be turned into cash at a local pawn shop. These methods of compensation came under question. Then, on November 12, 1892, a showdown between two rival clubs, the Allegheny Athletic Association and the Pittsburgh Athletic Club, was set to be played. Shortly before kickoff, a feud was sparked that delayed the start of the game for some time. The debate centered around several recruits on both teams, in particular one player by the name of William Pudge Heffelfinger. Supposedly, Allegheny was openly paying the former All-American to play that day. As the disagreement escalated, it was finally agreed that all bets made on the game were off and the two teams would play the game as an exhibition. There was no evidence at the time to prove Pittsburgh's suspicion. Then, nearly eight decades after Heffelfinger played in that game in Pittsburgh, the accounting ledger from the game was found and donated to the Hall of Fame. Clearly marked among the expenses for the game was direct payment to Heffelfinger in the amount of $500. This document is one of the oldest and most valuable found in the Hall of Fame's collection and is now simply referred to as the birth certificate of professional football. For the record, the investment apparently was a good one as Heffelfinger scored the game's only touchdown on a fumble return. TDs were worth four points at the time, so Allegheny defeated Pittsburgh 4-0. On top of that, despite the hefty payment to Heffelfinger, Allegheny profited $621 that day. And there are your two minutes of football history presented by the Pro Football Hall of Fame.